The Yale EasyFit telecommunicating alarm is a brand new system that is simple to use and takes just a few minutes to install. Start by unpacking all of the contents from the box. Before you can mount or program anything, you will need to activate the batteries in all of the components. Pull out the plastic tab on the back of the PIR. You should now be able to see a flashing light through the lens. Repeat this process for additional PIRs. Pull out the plastic tabs on all other components to activate their batteries. Components without plastic tabs require the correct batteries to be inserted. If you're installing the system for the first time, remove the mounting plate, if fitted, from the back of the control panel by sliding it across. Connect the mains power adapter to the control panel in the intended location for mounting. The control panel will beep. Before continuing, remove the rubber battery switch cover on the back of the control panel. Slide the switch to the ON position and replace the rubber cover. After the welcome screen has appeared, the display will ask if you wish to proceed with setup. Press the tick button. You are now just three steps away from completing the initial setup of your alarm system. You are now prompted to set the date and time. Set the current month using the up and down buttons. Press the tick button to confirm the required month. Set the current day by following the same process. Press the tick button to confirm. You will now be prompted to set the time. Set the current time using the up and down buttons. Press the tick button to confirm the hour and follow by setting the minutes. You will now be prompted to set the first telephone number required for an alert in the event of an alarm. Using the touchscreen panel, type in the required telephone number and press the tick button to continue. If you do not want to set an alarm through the telephone, press the return button to skip this step. Now you will be prompted to set your PIN. Enter the four-digit PIN code that you would like to use and press the tick button to continue. Warning! Make sure you remember your PIN code as this is what you will use to disarm your alarm system. On the next screen, select Exit Setup. You will now be prompted to mount devices and to refer to the manual. Leave this message on your screen. If a different prompt is shown at this point, please refer to your manual. Using the two holes on the mounting plate as your guide, mark the wall where you want to position the control panel. Drill the two marked points on the wall and insert the roll plugs provided. Line up the mounting plate with the drilled holes and secure into place with screws provided. Hook the control panel onto the plate and ensure it is fixed securely. Warning: The control panel tamper protection will automatically arm when secured onto the mounting plate. Find appropriate locations for the PIRs supplied in the box, ideally 2 meters from the floor. When finding appropriate locations for the door contacts, ensure the magnet and door contact are no more than 10 millimeters apart. Before proceeding to mount the components, physically check the control panel will receive the system radio transmissions. To do this, hold the components in the desired mounting locations and one by one press the test button on each component. If the sensor signal reached the control panel, the screen will briefly display a message like this. The radio signal strength is shown by a number in the upper right corner of the display. Please note, the number ideally needs to be 5 or more for optimal signal performance. Repeat this process for all components. Choose an external wall to mount the siren. Ideally, the siren needs to be visible in order to act as a deterrent. It also needs to be out of reach from potential attacks. Slide the switch to the ON position inside the siren and press the test button. If the sensor signal reached the control panel, the screen will briefly display a message like this. The radio signal strength is shown by a number in the upper right corner of the display. Please note, the number ideally needs to be 5 or more for optimal signal performance. Use the siren backplate as a guide to mark the wall in the desired location. Drill the four marked points on the wall and insert the roll plugs provided. Line up the backplate with the drilled holes and secure into place with screws provided. Warning: Ensure the tamper switch is fully depressed when the siren is mounted. If there is a gap, pack with a suitable spacing material. 
Finally, secure the cover into place using the screw provided. Please note, the fault light may show and a beep may be heard periodically from the control panel. You can ignore this until you have finished mounting all components. Now that the siren is mounted and you are happy that all your components can communicate with the control panel, mount them in the desired locations. Your new Yale Easy Fit alarm system is now installed. Press the green disarm button on the control panel and enter the pin that you previously defined. The screen will now tell you that the alarm is off. Leave this message on the screen. To arm the system, simply touch the display to wake it up and press the red arm symbol. A beeping noise will sound to give you time to exit the building. The system is now armed. To disarm the system, simply touch the display to wake it up and press the green disarm symbol. You will be prompted to enter your PIN. Do this using the numbers which are lit up. The system is now disarmed. If you chose to set up telephone alerts, it is important to test that this feature is functioning correctly. To do so, select Test Report in the Telephone Setting option, where you will be presented with the numbers stored in your control panel. Select one of the numbers and press the tick button. The control panel should dial out to the nominated number. The Yale Easy Fit range of alarms, designed with the user in mind.